I'm Dr. Chris Story of the Agility Center in Bentonville, Arkansas. Here I'm demonstrating the use of the rotation medical implant. This is a bioinductive implant for rotator cuff repair. You can see I've cleared out our subacromial space. I've sized our implant. We're using a large here because the patient has tears of both the supra and infraspinatus tendons, which are partial thickness. Once we get our implant in place, you can see our bicep tendon markers keep us from straying too far anterior with our staples. We place our bioabsorbable staples to secure the implant into position. These penetrate through the implant and into the rotator cuff itself. And you can see that we are working quickly and efficiently and able to secure this implant down to position with the absorbable staples. Moving anteriorly, we are between our biceps tendon markers with this cannula. We'll bring in an additional staple anteriorly and place another one more posterior to secure our implant. We can then go ahead and remove our insertion device. In this case, I'll place another central staple as I want to try and compress that central portion of the implant down onto the rotator cuff itself. And this is just due to the size of the implant versus the size of the patient, but also the size of the tear that I'm dealing with. So here we'll place one more absorbable staple. These clear cannulas give excellent visualization, allow for efficiency in the OR. Here we'll place one more central absorbable staple. And then we'll move laterally. So we're going to work over the edge of the greater tuberosity with our non-absorbable staples. We'll bring in our insertion device with the central trocar in it. We'll exchange this for the legs that will punch the holes for our lateral staple. In this case, I'll insert two staples, but here we go ahead and punch our holes, taking the legs down in and along the sockets that we've created for our non-absorbable staple. And we place our non-absorbable staple through our insertion device. Once we've got our two lateral rows down, we have excellent coverage of our rotator cuff tear with the rotation medical implant. 